Good day in the home. I'm your host, Willem Cloud, and welcome back to Project Willem Mobile with the black nose now. This time we're gonna talk about oil. And when you buy a second hand car, first thing you should actually do is change the oil to know in what kind of condition it is. Now, I neglected that for a very long time, but in this video I'll show you how you can change your oil for the BMW E46 N engine. Here's the oil filter inside of this, and you need a special tool. So you need your oil. I My engine needs 4.2 liters. So this is 4 liter and this is 1 liter. Then you will need a filter. This filter goes here. And you need some seals for the filter. If you're changing the filter, it gets the seals too. And this is a washer for the oil sump plug. And to remove this, you, you can have a special tool that sits on top and unscrews. So you don't have to remove this plastic bit. But I don't have that tool. I have the chain tool. Halfords didn't have with these two screws to use this one. Now, firstly, make sure the engine is cold. My engine isn't cold because I just drove it. And I waited two hours to cool it down. It's cool to the touch, but it's not that cold. So it's pretty, I can touch the engine. As you can see, if the engine would be hot, I wouldn't be able to touch anything here. See, it's cool, it's cool, it's plenty. You don't undo this, you drain the oil from the bottom. Right there is the oil sump plug. You need to unscrew and let the oil out, but not on the ground. I made a container like this. This is the windscreen wash I had, 5 liter bottle. It's 5 liters. So I, I have only 4.2 liter oil inside the engine. So this will be plenty. You can you can do the same, just cut out the cut out the top and just make sure it's all so it goes in here. Later on, just recycle it. Don't put, pour down your toilet anywhere like that because it's bad for the nature and everything else. So make sure you recycle it. But I'll show you that in this video. Now, firstly, we need to jack up the car and put it on jack stands so I can reach inside where is the oil sump plug. So let's do that now. Now we need 10 mil or 12 mil to unscrew these two screws and get this off so we can un undo this. 10 or 12. This is 10. Spot on, so it's 10.
this was this is what we need to remove this is what we need to remove Now I did spray and clean this with the brake clean and now I'll get this filter out and check with the new filter if it's the same. This I already cleaned off, that's the bang underneath. I'll go put it right in. Before we do all this, I'll just put the bang right in, back in. So it's tight and no oil is leaking. By the way, change this washer. This washer, you have it in your filter set, see, it's the same. If you open this up. See, this is already used and you can see from the scratch and this is brand new. Change this one too, so it's not leaking anymore. And let's go install it under the car. It's the same, then removal process. Just put it back in sample and screw it all in. Now firstly, I wanted to put in the bang back in, the plug for the oil sump, but I fucked up. Once I removed this, oil just kept on pouring out. Check this out. This is box, just what I cleaned underneath and look it's still it's still there I hope it stopped dripping now so I can put the plug in and the filter was so rooted in there that look it's full the fins were bended like this by the way I didn't bend them they were bent like this and it came only up in pieces out it as a big one unit it didn't slide off so that's bad that's the new filter that's the old one so yeah, now I'll put some new O-rings on, on this, because look, here is an O-ring, here is an O-ring, and right here is an O-ring, see, I'm, I'm wiggling it, that's the big one, that's this one, this one is, see this O-ring, this one, it's this, no, this one is this, and this one is this, so three O-rings, one, two, three, we're gonna change that. I will use a small screwdriver. Oh, it broke here. It's broken here. Oh. Now I'll put it behind there and so rooted in there. There you go, see? That's how it needs to go off. That's the first one. This is the first one. How about if we put like this in? See, it doesn't want to really come.
Now, my standing camera just died when I did the oil sump plug. Just tighten it until it's tight and just give it one quarter of the of a turn and that's it, leave it. If it will leak oil, then you can just lift the car up again and give another one until it stops leaking. Now let's screw this one in. I did oil the threads a little bit so it slides in easier and just plop it all in. Now you just screw it. <laughs> screw it. Now you just screw it. Now you tighten it up. It says 25 Newton meters. I don't know how much it is because I don't have a torque wrench. But I will just make it as tight as it was. It was pretty tight. I was struggling to get it how to say normal. There you go. It's sliding in pretty easily. Now I'll put this wrench again on and it's the opposite what I did. I was pushing that way. Now I'll push it that way. Now boys and girls, it's time for the castral edge. How I know what kind of grade oil to put on? If you go on the castrel.co.uk or .com, you write your license plate number in and it will tell you all the model, all the fluids you need. So I recommend them. They're awesome. Mmm, uh, this juice. I, I can't open it up with, with my, my one hand. Wait, let me... I'm holding it in my stomach. Oh. Where is the lip? Where is the lippy lip? Where is the lip? Eh? Where is the lip? There is the lip. Found it. Actually, I made it. Now, that's how oil looks. See? Caramel. And that's how oil looks. How about let's go and put some oil in. I hope you are ready, Billomobile. Castrol, there you go. Billomobile. Now you can have your oil. Have your first drink. To pour it with one hand, it will be interesting. Have a drink, Willem Mobile. Have a drink. Drink your nice oil. Your fresh juice. Mmm, I know it tastes good, doesn't it? Come on, Willem Mobile. Get your power back. Get your energy back. Okay, this is really hard to pour because I'm holding with one hand. Oh, hello. Here is another handle. Maybe this way. Yes. Look at that oil. Mm, mm, mm. Yum. Now let's check the dipstick. The dipstick. This red is the dipstick. Let's check it. how much oil we have inside already. How much we poured in. shows nothing because it didn't run down that's why just give it a few few seconds and you will see don't put too much oil by the way if you put too much it will be bad for your engine you see it's there is a speck there's a small speck already nice how much we poured in already uh, almost two liters Let's give it at least two liters because I know the engine takes four, 4.2. So give it a good one. Here, drink, drink mate, drink. Almost. This is almost empty, see? Now let's see the dipstick, the dipstick. Hello! We can see something here on the dipstick already. Nice! And now it's a good time to check for leaks. If you see oil on the ground, that means you need to tighten the sump again. For now, I don't see any leakage or anything. So let's pour it in until it's 
almost full. Now let's see how far it is. See how much it is now. Needs more, loads more. Now some 10 minutes passed. Let's check the oil level. I'll put it on the stand for you. See the oil level. Where's the next thing? That's the that's the maximum line. And we almost there. So that's good. Now this is nerve wracking because if something goes wrong and it will go tink tink tink, I fucked. Oh, this is stressful now. Let's just pump everything up so what, what needs to be pumped, so it's pumped. <sighs> I hope you're ready as I am. My first oil change. Mm. It's running smoothly. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's, it's done. Yes. Now let's go check some oil leaks. There is no oil light, so that's awesome. I don't see any leaks around here. All dry. And let's see underneath. Are there any oil triplets? Nope. Doesn't look like the oil is dripping. We did it, guys. We did it. Woohoo! First oil change. Woo! Thank you, Crastrol Edge, for sponsoring me. But they don't sponsor me. But I still use them because they are an awesome company. Basically, that's it. That's how you need to change your oil. Firstly, you jack up the car, you remove the sump plug, let, drain the oil out, and undo the filter right away. So it drains all out. I did a mistake. I just took the oil sump plug out, drained the oil, and then removed the canister. You remove the filter too, because the filter is holding some oil too. So that drains down too. So leave the oil canister until you put the uh, sump plug back, back on. That's the mistake I did. Firstly, I poured in only 3 liters of oil and it showed me full on the dipstick. Not completely full. You can see how much is full in your car's manual. It will tell you where is the minimum and the maximum. I started the engine up and it went from full to minimum because engine takes to the oil filter, to the oil pump no, and all the engine. So it that's, that's why when you for first time it will just take 3 liters. You add another 1 liter after it's it's after you crank the engine and it's and it's running. So the pump sucks everything in and everything else just sucks everything up what it needs. Fill up the oil once the car is on flat ground, not on jack stands. A couple words what you need to do to change the oil. Lift up your car so you can access the sump plug and remove the sump plug, remove the filter, drain all it out, put the sump plug back in, put the filter back on, put your car on the ground away from jack stand so it's level and flat, then top up the oil till it shows you almost the maximum, then start your engine so it cycles the oil up and add more if it needs, almost to the maximum. And once it settles down and it's almost to the maximum, that's it. If you add too much, you need to remove the sump plug and drain that. all that, what, what's too much. If you put too much, you put an extra load on the engine. If you like this video, of course, smash that like button, subscribe for more awesome videos, share the videos, like, so that people can see them too. And I hope I'll see you next video. Bye!